name is Erica Bruns. I am the store designer here at Store Supply Warehouse. In today's video, I'm going to show you multiple ways that you can display items on this wire grid gondola. The wire grid gondola, the reason why I'm using this is because it allows a lot of versatility. You can use these in retail spaces, craft shows, trade shows, and it's easy to assemble. As you can see, it is made up of two by five wire grid panels and they're connected here to the base and we also have casters here to allow you to move it throughout the space and the wheels do lock if you're concerned about that and it also has two by five panels on the end caps as well for you to merchandise more items and it is double sided. So what I'm going to do is show you different variations on how to merchandise this to show you different options and how you can play around and have fun with this type of fixture. So right now what I did was create a jewelry display and as you can see here I created different variations. This side I added shelves to use jewelry displays. I went with the black leatherette displays to kind of pop against the white. And on this side I added peg hooks, I did an acrylic T-bar to display bracelets. I added peg hooks here. As you can see there's more room to add more if you wanted to, for example, create a whole panel of just peg hooks. You could do that instead of the shells. And you could slide these over and put them closer together and you could really maximize the space. And the peg hook length that I use is six inch length. The peg hooks come in many different lengths ranging from two inches up to 12 inches. I went somewhere in the middle so I went with the six inch length. And on the ends as you can see here I added an accessory here where I'm going to hang belts. It's also good for hanging ties or anything. And this side I added a few peg hooks. I'm going to accessorize it with a few handbags. And now I am going to style it. So now that I have styled it, I'm going to quickly go over what I did. Um, I added the necklaces to the jewelry displays. Here I added earrings. We have this cool looking earring display. And down here I have a T-bar where I added more necklaces and the bracelets here. The shelves are 24 by 12 and all the products and fixtures used in this video is listed in the description box below. And here on the peg hooks, I hung the earrings using our lovely jewelry cards. We have the bracelet holder, acrylic bracelet holders here. I added some necklaces here with the matching bracelets below or you can flip it. And as you can still see, there's plenty of room. If you had more jewelry, you can add more peg hooks. And on the ends, I added to add more accessories, some handbags. I just added two peg hooks. If you have more handbags, there's also J hooks you can hang handbags on as well. I use peg hooks because I just wanted to feature a couple styles. And lastly, I styled the belt hook. So it has its own area and the end cap is perfect because this is almost the length of the two foot end cap of the wire grid. Here is the back side of the gondola and I created a shoe display here. And so I added some shelves. I also added this little fun wire grid shoe display. It just hooks on, hooks on like that. And these shelves the type of shelf bracket that you need, you need the 12 inch shelf brackets for the wire grid. Even though the shelf is 13 inches, it's important that you get the 12 inch so it curves over the shelf bracket. These are called bull nose shelves. When adding 48 inch shelves to the wire gondola, make sure that you use three 12 inch shelf brackets. This help evens out the weight so the shelves don't fold or bow in the middle. And now I'm going to style it and add the shoe. 
So I've added the shoes now. I created a light shoe display to give you an idea of how you can do a quick, simple shoe setup. I placed some shoes on the wire grid shelves and I used the top shelf to also display shoes. And I kind of separated it, dressy shoe, casual shoe, tennis shoe area. And then underneath, you can stack the different styles of the shoes by size. And there's plenty of space with this 48 inch shelf for you to create rows and columns of the different shoes and sizes. And let's say for example, if you decide, well, I want to stack a different style of shoe here, or even here, all you can have to do, this is an option. If you want to display the shoe, you can also just put that on top of the shoe to show, hey, this is a new style and the sizes available are, is below. For my next setup, I am doing a candy display. I added these down slope shelves for wire grid and as you can see that they are wire shelves and I have a row, five rows of 48 inch wire shelves and five rows of the 24 inch down slope shelves and on the other side I added some peg hooks to hang packages of candy and peg hooks are easy to pop on you just put the hook in hook up and down that easy and now I am going to add the candy so now I've added the candy to the display I created again another light setup to show you how much space you have to put multiple packs of candy and I kind of split it down the middle and I have different brands like halfway throughout um, along the shelves. And as you can see here, you can stack these up higher and you can add multiple rows. And then there's also candy here on the end caps. And I hung some candy here on the peg hooks on the end. And you can create this on both sides of the display. Any way you wanna set it up. If you wanna add peg hooks to the front, you can do that. And this is complete, your candy display is done. So this is a new configuration. This is going to be used to display women's clothing. And I, as you can see here, I added a U-shaped hangrail. It's a 24 inch U-shaped hangrail. More 24 inch shelves, a 24 inch shelf here with the U-shaped hangrail. And I'm using straight face outs here and also on the other end. Now it's time to style it. And the clothes are added. On the U-shaped hangrail on the end of the panel, I hung a dress. There's more height here. This is the only fixture on the end, so I just use this to hang the dresses. On the face out, I hung tank tops. I did two stacks of folds here. On a 24 inch shelf, you can fold at the most maybe two stacks of folds. I folded a top and a bottom. On this side, the hangrail, I hung more uh, shirts, and the shelf above it, I did a top and bottom. And then on the other end, I also did another dress on the straight face out. So I've created another configuration, and this is going to be a display featuring like toddler and children's clothes and accessories. So I've added peg hooks on the end cap, a few up here, I want to hang some accessories. I use the U-shaped hangrail, a 24 inch shelf, a straight face out, a wire basket, and a couple more peg hooks on the other end. And now I will start. And the children's gondola is complete. On the end, I added accessories to the peg hooks. Um, I put the longer accessories on the bottom and hung the short ones at the top. You can do it any way you want. There's plenty of space here to add additional peg hooks. You can get a lot of product just right here. And here on the face out, I created an outfit. Um, there's plenty of space behind the face out to hang the items that are featured here in the front. And I added a little basket here and I just folded up some jeans, but you can put anything you want in that basket. I also created another accessory uh, area here at the top 
with the few peg hooks here. And I did a shelf just to cap off the hangrail. And on the U-shaped hangrail, I hung some more um, clothing here like the t-shirts and dresses and then we have the jeans to go along with the t-shirts and on the end I just hung two bags for example like a diaper bag you can just hang those accessories on the end cap to separate from the clothing Remember, I only merchandise the front of this fixture. You can create this same setup on the back of the fixture. It is important that if you merchandise both sides to evenly distribute the weight to give balance to the gondola. So this is the video, thank you for watching. And again, all the fixtures and all the accessories is linked in the description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our customer service at 1-800-823-8887. If you're interested in the store design services, the free store design services that are available, please email me at ebruns, it's E-B-R-U-N-S at storesupply.com. Thank you for watching again, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.